Barry, this comes from the Jewish press.com. All right. And this is about the U.S. U.S. Senate passes anti BDS bill for Democratic presidential candidates opposed. Now, Barry, 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 there is uh, a whole bunch of presidential candidates who are opposing this and they're Democratic. Let me tell you. And uh, just to name a few, Cory Booker, Kirsten Gillibrand, Elizabeth Warren. Kamala Harris, and of course, the crazy man, Bernie Sanders, right? <laughs> this here is provides security measures for our one of our most strategic allies, Israel. And it seems like th anything that has to come with uh, security, Barry, um, the Democrats are opposed, uh, you know, they're opposed against it when, it, uh, when you're speaking about Israel. Um, wh why is that? It's it's really bizarre, um, and uh, I have a couple of curiosities about it, and I honestly don't know uh, the the explicit answer, but I'll share my confusion with your viewers. You've got, as you said, Cory Booker, Elizabeth Warren, Kristen Gillibrand. Um, all three of these senators have huge, active support from the Jewish community uh, in their respective states of New Jersey, Massachusetts, and New York. And for some reason, they get away with voting against a bill that just a few years ago would have been unanimous in the Senate. Israel is the front line against terrorism. As we always say, they're the canary in the coal mine. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that experienced terror first. They're the ones that developed uh, security measures against suicide bombings, car bombings, missile attacks, short-range mortar attacks. Uh, that technology right now Israel is uh, selling to the United States for us to have. And on and on and on and on. It, you would think, Germain, it would be automatic. And if presidential candidates like Gillibrand, Warren, and Booker came out and said, ah, I don't know if I want to support this anymore. Uh, you would think that their supporters within the Democrat Party, especially the Jewish ones, would be pounding down their doors. And I'm sad to say, for the most part, they aren't. I don't have an explanation for it. I can tell you that they think, as they move farther left, and when I say farther left, that would be away from traditional American foreign policy viewpoints and towards the, hey, you know, maybe Venezuela socialism really isn't so bad. Maybe Cuban socialism isn't so bad. Maybe we need to be more like them. They think they're occurring favor with the left wing socialist party that is part of the Democrat party, like Ocasio-Cortez doesn't call herself a Democrat, she calls herself a socialist, that wing of the Democrat Party. So does Bernie Sanders, who calls himself a socialist, but votes with the Democrat Party, simply because that's closest to his uh, political perspective. I think what's happening, and we'll know more in the coming year, as, you know, more people jump in, and so far there's not one person running for office that's not a left-wing progressive <laughs> socialist on the Democrat side, how far they have to go to the left to survive that heap. It's going to be really interesting. The Democrats better nominate somebody from the middle or Trump is going to skip and giggle all the way to re-election. And um, Barry, I have a idea of why as well, because I believe that the Democratic Party is knee deep with care in the Muslim Brotherhood. I mean, they, they are linked arm in arm, Barry. And what this deal does is it imposes fresh sanctions on Syria, boosts security, cooperation between Israel and Jordan, and will also empower states and local governments to, to ban uh, local and state contractors who participate in the BDS movement. Um, I, th that's where it looks like to me where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Because they are part of uh, the problem, the Muslim um, brotherhood and care. I mean, 
What do you think about that? Well, you raise an interesting point, and you may very well be on the right track there. Um, CARE, which is obviously the Council on American Islamic Relations, um, is a front group for a number of very radical Muslim um, preachers who, I mean, literally every week are on uh, the dais in their mosques across America preaching um, the advantage and the necessity to impose Islamic Sharia uh, regulations and law on the United States and to dismiss American values and to reject the American Constitution. They're very, very active politically in the United States, and you very well may be right. And to add to that, the part about this bill that is being called out as the excuse for not sponsoring it is it, quote, stifles free speech by banning uh, certain contracts with uh, BDS related entities. The fact of the matter is the purpose of BDS as told by its founder Omar Bagudi is the destruction of the state of Israel. He is very prominent, very clear. It's like reading Mein Kampf in the 1920s if you wanted to know what Hitler wanted to do. Read his book. Now all you have to do is go online and follow Omar Bagudi and he'll tell you what his organization is for. So when you have U.S. senators saying stuff like this, well, it ought to be a free speech thing and BDS is about free speech. No, it isn't. It's about the destruction of the state of Israel. It's, it's the Jewish state and it's being called out for boycotts, no different than there were boycotts in the 1940s and 30s and 20s when there was no state of Israel for the intention of destroying the possibility of a Jewish state in their historical religious homeland for the last 3,000 years. Anyone that tells you otherwise is either historically or ignorant or literally, and I mean this word for word, hiding their anti-Semitism behind a facade of, well, I'm for free speech. 